From stargazing to clinging to his life off the Florida coast, it is the story of a missing boater with a very happy ending. A cargo ship on the way to the port of Wilmington became his savior. Greg Argos has the story. You know, the world's most interesting man, I, I'm just the opposite. But he sure has a fascinating story to tell. I was falling asleep and uh, the water came gushing in, pushed me up to the front. That was Friday, some 86 miles off of Florida's coast. 62 year old Stuart B, alone on his boat, says he did not even have time to send out a distress signal. He climbed on top of the bow, the only part of his vessel still above water. For a minute there, I was thinking, this, this, this is very bad. There's no one around. Stuart B clinged on to his capsized boat for more than two days before he was rescued by an angel of sorts. I took my shirt off, just waved that several times, he blew his horn. I figured that was a signal that they, they were on watch and they saw me. A 738-foot shipping boat, the Angelus, carrying a load of Chiquita bananas from Florida to Delaware, spotted the distressed boater. Hi, good uh, morning. This is uh, motor vessel Angeles. A relieved bee then plucked from the ocean. We just rescued one person from a capsizing boat. You are B, you are B. Yes, sir, that is the gentleman that we've been looking for. That is the gentleman we've been looking for. Thank you. The captain then notifying the Coast Guard they would continue on their way with their new passenger to the port in Wilmington. My crew is taking care of him. Uh, give him some blankets and uh, some uh, dry clothes. I'm very happy for this. Yes, so are we. Thank you so much. Alive. And of course, so is Stewart, who says his trip here to Wilmington was better than even the most opulent cruise. These guys are just the nicest people ever. Nicest. Kept feeding me. I said, oh, I don't need that much. In Wilmington, Delaware, Greg Argos. CBS 3 Eyewitness News.